In this video, I'll show how to create a J-shaped lighter in Blender, which is often found at the pool, and we'll be implementing this using the curve modifier and the array modifier. According to Wikibooks, this tutorial requires Blender version 2.67 or higher. Starting with an empty top view, let's add a Bezier curve, which will provide the J-shape. You'll probably want to start with a single vertex, without a handle, because we want well-defined linear segments and later bend them. One way to remove handles is to scale the vertex to zero. After that, an extrusion creates linear segments. After creating the J-shape, you want to bend the top segment. right clicks on the vertices, select their incoming handle. If you actually want to relocate vertices, you have to use box select or circle select. Because the incoming vertices should actually be at the opposite sides, grabbing has created a twist. Rotating a vertex rotates its handles with it. And then there is an asymmetry, because the outgoing handles have moved uniformly by one blender unit. The alignment can be corrected by scaling to zero on specific axes. With that, our J shape is complete. Now notice that if you select a curve object, the properties window shows a special section for it, in which you can assign a bevel object. The label says object, but we need a curve. When you create a mesh circle, in order to run it through the path, it doesn't show up in the list. Therefore, create a curve circle. You don't have to orient it to make it perpendicular to the axis. Just apply it and it's done. Before converting the pipe into a mesh, it's worth paying attention to the resolution. You have a chance to adjust the poly count with both curves. The Bezier circle comes with 4 vertices and the resolution of 3 gives 12 vertices per ring. The hotkey for conversion is Alt-C. Take heed, by the way, to check Keep Original, because we need the path to place the bars. Don't make the mistake I made in this video. There must be a number of techniques to add round caps to the endings, but tapering off with extrusions and making a face at the end seems to be enough for simple pipes. Now clone the pipe by pressing Alt-D. Shift-D creates an independent copy. When you create a bar, manually position it on the z-axis. The bar can be placed on the path through the curve modifier. The behavior changes depending on the mapping of the axis. In this example, I need to choose x. That seems to do pure translation. The array modifier creates multiple copies, which by default line up on the x-axis. If you apply array first, the whole pack will move in tandem, so we change the order. Now the genius is that the lineup is made on the path. Now by changing offset and count, we can create any configuration we want. To convert the whole thing into a complete mesh, you can join the objects by pressing Ctrl J. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching and happy blending.